Welcome everybody to Fair Journey Biologics' new home. We're here to talk about the year 2021 and the challenges ahead. We're very happy to announce that we've met all our objectives for the year of 2021. We were able to refurbish one building in Porto, Portugal, plus another building also in Porto, Portugal. We also refurbished our Cambridge site in the UK. And finally, we have been able to build a new massive building also in Porto, Portugal, where we are now. The total uh, size of our company is now above 200,000 square feet of lab space. We were able to continue to invest in our antibody, transient antibody production capabilities with over 5 million euros of new equipment, putting us as one of the biggest and by far biggest uh, companies in the world doing transient antibody production. Our biophysical characterization unit was also a part of this investment push where we doubled the capacity and were able to serve our clients much better. And finally, we're very happy to announce that we're now 200 people. These people are dedicated to serve our partners to bring their antibodies into the market and treat new diseases. It's also important to mention COVID. Obviously, 2021 was a year of massive challenges and the biggest tribute needs to go, must go to our colleagues. They showed tremendous resilience and this enabled our partners to maintain their programs on track that one day will bring new medicines to treat new unmet clinical needs. It also of course enabled us to meet our revenue objectives and to demonstrate outstanding growth. On top of it all, we were able to start a new venture. In the inauguration of our brand new site, we had a conference for experts on antibody discovery field. We were able to have people like Sir Greg Winter and many others to talk about the challenges in our field ahead. The conference was so successful that we were challenged to continue it and to continue to deliver this forum of expert opinions. So we will continue the antibody series in 2022 and actually we'll expand this to a three-day conference. And for 2022, John McCafferty will roll out new technologies that will have a profound impact in the antibody discovery world. We'll also use artificial intelligence to help us discover better and faster new antibodies. And finally, we've decided to use our clinically validated naive libraries to discover reagent antibodies. This will comply to the new directives against animal use and will vastly increase the quality of these reagent antibodies and for as low as 10,000 euros per antibody. So please reach out to us and we're very happy to guide you through this process. We are by far the biggest antibody discovery CRO in Europe. We're also a top player in the US, but obviously we need to grow in both markets and especially in the US market. For that, we're also very proud to announce that uh, we've opened our Boston offices and we're recruiting heavily and already have several people there. We're also very pleased to announce for 2022 a new division in the company, Cold Storage. In that division, we will safeguard the most prized possessions of our clients, their biological samples. We can store anything from liquid nitrogen all the way to room temperature, and for that, to free up valuable lab space within their own labs. We exist to solve our clients' problems. We have 200,000 square feet of space, next generation antibody discovery technology mammalian display clinically validated naive libraries, seven antibodies in clinical development, and finally, 200 people ready to help you.